out. Sit back and relax. Don't touch that remote. It's Movie Mausoleum, Movie Mausoleum, Movie Mausoleum, Movie Mausoleum. Watch Movie Mausoleum and have a bad dream. Movie Mausoleum, it'll make you Tokyo must be Godzilla. <laughs> we got to get a creak for that door one of these days. Tonight, you guessed it, it's Godzilla night on the movie mausoleum. Tonight, we have Godzilla versus Megalon. You know, you can go to a dictionary, pick out almost any word, and there's been a Godzilla versus whatever that word is probably made in the history of Japanese filmmaking. On the movie mausoleum, we can't just show you any Godzilla movie. We search to find what I think is truly the worst of the worst Godzilla movies of all time. You've probably seen the 1956 original Godzilla movie that was uh, released in America with those Raymond Burr inserts. They remade that one like in 1985, all in color with a lot of flash, also with inserts of Raymond Burr. Really wasn't very good, and after that, Godzilla refused to ever work with Raymond Burr again. Apparently, Burr weighs a lot more than Godzilla now, and Godzilla thought it made him look bad. Who knows? Back in the 50s, the post-Hiroshima era, where the Japanese first invented Godzilla, a lot of people felt he was being used as a metaphor for the Japanese people way of dealing with atomic destruction. They couldn't stop the bomb or its destruction at Hiroshima, but they could stop Godzilla and drive him back into the sea with good old-fashioned Japanese know-how. Personally, I just think he was a really, really big lizard with a really bad attitude. So now, go to the microwave, get your popcorn, it's time for Godzilla versus Megalon. Ho, ho, ho. In the first part of 1971, on a small island near the Aleutians, the second underground nuclear test took place. This is what happened. 